Hello everyone, welcome back to another Rise of Kingdoms video. This is Dragothian here. Today we're going to be going over the overnight results of what's been going on in the 93, 34, 860, 671 KVK and 846 and 365 KVK as well. Let's jump into it. So as you saw in the intro there, um, there was a flag getting swarmed as we were going uh, live with the video. Uh, 1V is in heavy, heavy form on the field right now. It is roughly 8 UTC, 9 UTC right now. Um, they were swarming down a 93 flag, which is still getting defended, but obviously did go down as far as getting burned at least. Um, it's a tale of two sides of the map right now on the 93, 34, uh, 860, and 671 KVK. And it's also a tale of some kingdoms staying up for long periods of time and some kingdoms kind of just going away at certain periods of time during their downtime. So uh, first off, let's kind of go and make, we'll make a rotation of the map and then we'll go over and we'll talk about the 846 and 365 KVK after this. So let's start from the top left and work our way around. Um, 93L and 93P are at the top left right now. They're the ones that are kind of going up against 860 proper. And as you can see right now, 860 has this territory right here in Kingsland. That's about it. Same thing with 93. They have the top left here in this light blue area going towards the Zig. Now, in this section of the map, 93 is dominant still overnight of 860. As you can see, the field is heavily in favor of 93. They're completely covering DN's area. Um, when it comes to burning flags, things like that, nothing's burning at the moment, at least towards the pass, which is, I'm assuming, what 93 is wanting to do. They want to lock out 860 as early as possible so that they can focus their attention back over to 34 and 1V. Um, right now, again, they're getting some uh, help. When I say they, 860 is getting a lot of help from their allies as well, pressuring with 34 as well to try and beat the clock, basically. So right now, uh, 93 doing everything they can to lock 860 out. That's the strategy it seems they're employing right now. And if we go to the other side of the map, which is where the most of the other action is, you can see 93 has lost quite a bit of territory on the bottom right side, 2-1-V. Uh, and when I say 2-1-V, we're also talking about 1-V, 23-45, and also Na'vi, which is basically the same kingdom, but you understand what I'm saying. Uh, everything's on fire. So right now, uh, 93 on the bottom right, anything that's touching a 1-V flag is on fire right now. They're in full layer mode at the moment over on this side of the map, just simply because they... They can't keep up. <laughs> it's very hard to keep up with uh, all these kingdoms on all these fronts um, at all times of the day. But they're still fairly active over here. It looks like they were garrisoning that flag for quite a bit before 1V did swarm it down. But you can see this is 1V's uptime. I mean, they've got a lot of people on the field. Uh, they got a lot of folks that are roaming around. And uh, they're in full swing when it comes to rally and swarm. Now, 2345, again, is in full burn mode. And as you can see, I don't see many, if any, 671 players online. Tons of Na'vi players here, which again, 1V and Na'vi is basically interchangeable. They move people around between the two alliances to accomplish their objectives. There's obviously some, some stationary Na'vi players, but you understand what I'm saying. Um, everything, again, from a 671 standpoint that is touching a non-allied flag, which right now is only this flag right here, is on fire. Um, and again, I don't see many 671 up front. They're they're kind of floating around. Like here's here's a guy. He wants to do a little open field fighting. Um, but there's not really a murder ball of any kind to, to be spoken of. And again, 671 is an Asian kingdom, so I'm not quite sure. You know, this being basically their uptime, their main uptime, it should be around 9 or 10 p.m. at the latest uh, in the Asian time zone. I'm just not seeing. Uh, any kind of push from 671 at this point in time. I see, uh, looks like somebody was doing a little farming over here, a barb killing over here for 671. Uh, so that's a thing. Lots of farming going on to open up teleport spots. But I'm not seeing any uh, real open field fighting. Here comes a guy coming down to uh, do a little 
open field fighting, but this is just, you know, a player with seven marches coming over here, swarming all the open field AFK 671 players on the, the field. Everybody else is, uh, you know, 1v or 2345 player, which again is benefiting the 860 34 coalition. Again, I just don't see anybody from 671 actually on the open field fronts uh, fighting. So um, I'm not sure if this is another downtime of theirs or not, but it's it's kind of interesting considering this should be one of their uptimes. They're an Asian time zone kingdom from what I remember um, being allied to them. 2KB, um, 2KB, no, last KBK. 2KB, you know, it's last KBK before the Desert Conquest that I'm in, 916. So um, that's that. Okay, and then we also have 2224, which again, I don't see many 2224 folks around as well. If they are, they're probably over here to the left helping fight, which I don't think that they could be best used over there. I really think anybody, 671 and 2224 need to be down here on the right, the bottom right, helping 93 hold this front, because if... 1V takes this front out from 93, 671 and 2224 are just, it's just a matter of time burning flags uh, to for them to get cut out too, especially considering you have Navi here. Then you also have, um, you know, all of the, this red territory for 860. They, they will have enough territory to keep uh, and continue to push with, um, with all their allies still being in Kingsland. Uh, and I think that's really the breakdown. Right now, it's kind of a stalemate uh, in the middle here, per se, because there's so many flags and the territory coincides with a bunch of mountain passes and things like that. But 1V really dominating here on the the bottom right side against 93's downtime, um, right now being an Asian, or I'm sorry, a uh, US, UK, uh, mostly uh, kingdom. Um, and on the top left, again, 93 continuing to push using what people they've got to continue to try and focus on getting 860 out the door. Because again, right now, um, I think that's their priority. That's their strategy. They want to get 860 out. They want to start working their way down and cutting out Navi from behind as well and just holding what they can as long as they can against 1V's main push over here because 1V isn't really sprinkling left. They're just, they're just really killing 93 on the bottom right here and uh, assisting against... 671 as well whenever they do have players on uh in the field but we said yesterday during the stream right 671 and 2224 need to step up here uh in order for 93 to win this kvk if they do not and if the field continues to look like this where there's just nobody uh, up front for 2224 or 671 fighting uh while 93 is still fighting non-stop uh from since the the king's land passes opened it's going to be a very short King's Land for 93 because they just can't keep up with that kind of a pressure nonstop when their their opponent's allies are fighting the whole time um, and theirs are not. So that's going to be a problem uh, for them to have to deal with. And hopefully 671 and 2224 20, uh, for 93's sake will pop on quickly and start to mass an open field ball to help push the, their opponents back. And then for 34 and 860, hopefully they can hold so that they can give enough time for 1v to completely cut 93 off and start working their way around the map on the allies that do have downtimes where it seems like 1v doesn't really have a downtime even though they're one alliance kingdom you know per se uh, they're a main alliance kingdom i should say really that you know navi is nothing to sneeze at and opa v is nothing to sneeze at but um obviously 1v is the biggest and and the most dense of the alliances in that kingdom but they just shift around so uh, but they are also always on. Look at this. I mean, just they were on like crazy earlier whenever King's Land opened. That was supposed to be their downtime. And now they're still on here um, during their uptime, uh, pushing hard on the field and taking down 93 flags, making them burn. So that's the 93, uh, 34, 860, 671, 22, 24, 23, 45 KVK. Let's jump over to the 846 and 365 KVK. See how that one's doing because it's also a little bit of a shocker. That's going well, not shocker, but it's a little bit of a um, you know different story from what we left yesterday on our stream. Um, on the top left, you have the coalition of 365, 39, 56, 44, 2052, 
uh, all on the top left. That's orange, blue, red, blue, purple. That's the coalition, okay? And as you can see, they have already made some significant swaths down and to the right. Now, the pink is going to be 846 here. You have WIB, LIB, TCFA. G46 is also fording right here. Looks like they're starting to backport behind the, the, the pass there. Then you also have uh, 42 and Fox Alliance coming in as an ally of 846. And then another set of gold, orange, territory, SIN, BIA, and D24. Now, I think that there's been some progress here. And again, we said this yesterday, BIA was really the only team on the 846 coalition that was actually making really any kind of headway. Uh, I didn't see much happening across the map other than defense for 846 um, spread across the entirety of Kingsland against the extra kingdoms that the 365 coalition of, of, uh, of allies has. But again, this was what was decided upon, right? When 846 and 365 were trying to make their KBK, 846 actually wanted to give 365 more people to play with. Uh, and they were like, no, it's not going to be fair <laughs> giving us more people to play with. Uh, you should take them or they shouldn't be part of any team. Uh, and, you know, again, the general consensus was that maybe that was a mistake by 365 by the community. But as you can see, yesterday's stream showed and certainly still right now, I mean, massive presence by 365 BLN. You have uh, BIA fighting BLN right here. I think this is probably the most contentious fight on the map right now. If we zoom out, everything else is kind of free burning, guys. So let me scroll back down. Pink is, J is uh, 846 here. So again, everything is for the most part um, at least has been on fire or is currently on fire for 846. They just lost a flag, by the way, right here. Uh, this was pink territory less than a half hour ago, which is now gold of JST. Uh, and again, JST, you can see the field presence here. JST is massively presenced here. Also, you do have th uh, 39 OW pushing on the right side against what is really, you know, not really active Alliance territory, and that's the TC. FA territory over here. You have 23, uh, I'm sorry, 39 OW, basically free burning all this territory over here. Um, this guy might not have a good time if he does not hop off that territory once this flag burns. Um, you have some people porting in here as well. It's good to see. Uh, lib player, swarmable lib player, actually. Um, funny you did that when there's lib territory right here where he couldn't get swarmed. But anyway, um, so. Lib territory again on fire over here. Both flags here are burning. Again, 20, um, I think this is 2339. I'm not 100%. Yeah, 2339 is, um, again, free burning the right side of Lib and basically the entirety of the 20, the TCFA territory here, while JST again is continuing to push and burn all this Lib and Wib territory that is in Kingsland currently alongside of. Um, the bid territory here, which is currently not on fire, but I think they just reconnected to it after burning a layer of flags above this. So I'm um, looking to see these um, these flags get... Okay, these, these two are redundant flags. These two bid flags are redundant. Um, this one is a layered flag, so that's good for bid, and as is this one here. So um, looking to see if bid can turn this around. Same thing with WIB and BIA. This is by no means over. But it's looking a little bit dreary for the 846 coalition, especially at the bottom where they're completely surrounded. They're cut off from the Zig entirely. The gold area right here is JST 365. And the red area here is 365 allies 2339. Uh, and then 56 as well, coming all the way over here to the right. And again, free burning. What little remains of the allies position in Kingsland of 846. Only a few flags left. Those are basically going to be done here very shortly. Fox has a line of flags right here, but it's getting hard stop burned by 44, who also still has a massive presence in Kingsland um, on the field. And then we also, again, have the, uh, the folks here in 56 that are free burning. 2256 here that are free burning this area over here. It looks like Fox is trying to back layer here. A little bit to try and save some territory but once this gets cut here once they go through here they cut this territory right here 
It's GG for those two red allies of 846. And again, then we have Sin over here, which again has been pushing with BIA, BIA um, of 846 as well. But it looks like the territory is kind of open, not nearly as many players um, on the field as what used to be. And again, everything is uh, free burning. So we have a Sin here burning two flags right in here. Again, these are redundant flags to the AMG flag of, uh, line of flags here, the 44S line of flags, which again is a combination of 2052 uh, and the combination of 1044, which again, 44 has done a very good job from a open field standpoint, um, showing some field presence for the 365 Ally Coalition. Uh, all that's burning, 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 burning. This is not burning, but should be burning pretty soon, I'd imagine. This one looks like it got tapped, but it's been healing for a little bit. And we've got Siege coming. We have a Scipio Siege, Sin. Yep, that's all he's got. That's all he's got left, man. He's doing what he can, right? He's doing what he can. 61 million power. You don't have many troops left, you know? Um, then we got over here, again, Open Field OG pushing BIA back. Again, BIA's territory has been the only one that really has expanded this entire KVK since King's Land started. So and I can see anyway from the 846s side, you know, the initial push and the preparation and the setup phase that kind of went down. And then when I logged in uh, overnight tonight, which again, it's like, you know, four o'clock in the morning, my time um, when I had logged in to just check and see what's going on. And BIA is the only territory that really has expanded since King's Land uh, opened and all the flags started meeting you know speaking of flags meeting up here liu doing everything they can to hold this territory because if it does go down here's a nice rally in swarm or at least rally in garrison here um bln dropping that rally against that judd Wega. we do have some decent reports as well uh from these movements here 846 and um 93 giving us some pretty good reports to play with as well but uh, as you can see, burning here, and this is actually a very critical flag. You have two flags here that are really kind of holding this territory on. So first off, this flag is critical. If you break this flag, it's game over. This is not uh, connected. Oh, no, I'm sorry. It is connected over here. I apologize. So it is coming over here. So that's, that's uh, not a game ender, but this certainly is a hurtful flag if it goes down. Now, again, we have this flag over here that was under duress, but is currently repairing. And now BLN is continuing to, to, you know, mess with the open field and clear out LIU as much as they can so they can continue to re-rally. Um, we also have, again, just a lot of things going on across this front, but most often it's going to be 365 pushing flags and destroying flags. As you can see, another flag being built here by the 365 BLN Alliance. And again, that's because the one in front of this flag here uh, was burned now this one is burning as or building as well i should say and it is connected to uh the 365 territory i'm surprised they're letting that build uh considering that's basically going to give another layer uh for for them to burn but um you know i, I don't know if they're just in, in any particular rush or if they're just uh, going to go ahead and uh just build and 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 burn and just keep going now here's the first 365 flag that i've found it's from og that has actually been on fire recently everything else looks to be like it's been completely uh healed or uh, not been on fire anytime recently uh here's another flag from og so two flags from og burning that's the only ones that i see for 365 coalition uh that are actually on fire this one looks like it was on fire like i said earlier but it's been healing for quite some time 44 continuing to have some decent presence here i don't see as many nearly as there was before um certainly during the day there was a lot more on the field to the point where it was overwhelming, but um, not so much anymore. There's there's some there, but enough just to get some flags burning. That's about it. Nothing crazy from an open field presence like you see from BLN, like you see from BIA. Um, this major fight over here, like I said, this is the most contentious part of the fight right now for 846 versus 365. On the bottom left, 846 is kind of on full defense mode, just trying to do what they can. It's going to be hard for them to come back from. I'm not going to lie. I don't know if this is necessarily uh, indicative of maybe 846 not showing up like I keep seeing on Facebook posts. I think this is just indicative of they didn't have most of their allies come into Kingsland like they were supposed to. Like 2329 was supposed to be in Kingsland with them, uh, but they're not. 
and uh, mistakes were made earlier on in the KBK to make that happen, and that really hurt them. I mean, 23-29 was supposed to be one of their bigger allies in this KBK. If we go and we input the KBK itself, 23-29 here, uh, Kingdom of Depilto um, was supposed to be a very solid ally of 846 with 2330 as well. Both of those kingdoms are not inside King's Land and could have been if they had just done it right, uh, but instead they did not block the way they're supposed to, and 365 was able to come in and lock them up. Uh, and again, that really kind of left 846 alone with two other kingdoms here, which only were able to bring in two, maybe three alliances, really two alliances, to King's Land. 846 brought like six alliances into King's Land, and all of them are really on their back foot for the most part, except for, B like I said, BIA is the only one that's really making a push or has made any kind of territory gains that I could see. Uh, otherwise, everybody else has made their territory, defended their territory, and s subtly and eventually lost that territory as it's gotten scaled back and as the 365 coalition has continued to push. But it's looking very good for 365. It's looking very good for the 34 alliance on the other KBK as well, I have to say. Again, I think a lot of people just assumed that uh, 860 and 34 and them would just roll. Um, because again, 93 is really the, kind of the only marquee alliance uh, kingdom inside of that King's Land for their side. But 671 helping out a little bit. Uh, again, certainly 2224 made a, a major presence known yesterday in the stream. Um, and again, I think this is going to still be a continuing battle, maybe for another day or two. I don't think that it's going to go past two more days. I think this is going to basically be decided. And then we're going to be talking about level seven passes getting rallied and then the level seven area zones, which again, for 846, doesn't look like they were really planning on losing any of these passes. And they've got a large area wide open um, in their territory, as does this section here for, uh, for 846 as well. So plenty of fort drop possibilities for 846. I'm sorry, for 365 and their allies should they be able to come through these passes. So something to think about as we continue to uh, see how this KVK and the other KVK unfolds. Hopefully I've updated you from overnight when you were sleeping or if you just missed some of the action after the initial wave of streams came by. Mr. Gothian here. I'll see you guys next time. Cheers. Have a good one and take care.